Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is finding the uh, finding polygons inside of coordinate planes, and then we're using information to find the area of those polygons, uh, which is pretty cool stuff. So let's see. Our question here says plot the points for each shape, and then determine the area of the polygon, and then write an expression that could be used to determine the area of the figure. Explain how each part of the expression corresponds, corresponds to the situation. Okay, this sounds like a lot, but let's begin here. I have my coordinate plane, and I have some points. So let's start plotting here. I have a 1, 3, which goes right about here. All right, so I'm going to label that A so I know where it is. I have a 2, 8, which is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is right over here. That's point B. Done. Point 8 is 8, comma 8. So I'll take this guy, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be over here. Okay, and that's point C. I'm done with that. I need a 10, comma 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That goes right to the end. 1, 2, and 3. Make that nice and big. There's my point D. And I need a point E which is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down to 1, 2, a negative 2 on the y, and that is my point E. Okay, I'm just going to move that point A over a little, that letter A all over a little bit so it's not inside. And now I'm going to connect this guy out to find out what kind of polygon he is. He's an interesting looking polygon. Okay, okay, and let's see, I'm going to connect him there. That was terrible. And I'm going to connect him there. That wasn't so bad. All right, so it looks like I have a pentagon here. I'm going to change colors because I need to find out. Oh, I'm done with that E. Forgot to check him off. There you go. I'm going to change colors. Let's go to red. And I need to find out the area of this guy. So best bet from what I see is to actually take this guy and to make some triangles out of him. So I'm going to take two points. And I'm just going to connect them. I can make a triangle there. And I'm going to go straight going to go straight across. And now I have some nice triangles. I'm going to label them. How about triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C? Now, this is the best way to find area of something that has a strange shape like this. Just break it up into parts, uh, hoping that those parts are things that you can find the area of. Now, fortunately, we're on a grid, so I can find some distances here. All right, so I'm going to start setting things up. I have triangles, so my triangle is base times height, one half of that. Okay, there's one of them. And I'll put B down here for triangle B, same thing. Area equals one half, the base times the height. Okay, and C we'll put up here. We're gonna need a, I think we're going to need a lot of room for this. Area equals one half, the base times the height. Now the point is I'm going to find these three areas and then add them together. They want me to write an entire expression for all of this. I'm going to show you a nice way of doing that once we have everything all, all written out. Okay, so let's take care of uh, triangle A. So let's find some values. I need a base and a height of A, of triangle A. Now, let's see. Let me go to blue here. It looks like my base of my triangle is this guy here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 units long. And my triangle height, all right, so... Here's that other uh, point there for that. And that guy, the height of that triangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the height is 5 units there. Okay, now remember, my triangle is 1 half of the rectangle it creates, base, uh, working off the base. So there is that rectangle, okay? And, um, and we're feeling pretty good. So I need 1 half of that guy. So my base, let me go back to red. So my base being 6, so I need 1 half of 6, and my height of that particular triangle. Oops, I put an H. I have 5. Okay, so from top to bottom, that guy is a 5. All right, so let's finish this off. So I have 1 half of 30, okay, which gives me 15 units squared. Cool. I'm going to put a little squiggly in there, separate those guys. Now for B... Let me change back to blue. Now for B. All right, so triangle B, which is this guy right here, going across. Now this is a nice triangle. I have a base here. Here's my base. Okay, there's my base there. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
I have a base of 9. Okay, now my height, I have that height right from here. Here's that height again from top to bottom because there's my right angle. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so a height of 5. Okay, so this is a 9 by 5 rectangle. Let me go back to red, which I'm going to take half of for the triangle. So this is a 9 by, by 5. Okay, so 1 half of 45, okay, which is 22 and a half. Okay, whoopsie. Okay, half of 45, 22 and 1 half units squared. Okay, so let's take a look at the last guy, my triangle number 3. Let me go back to blue. Oh, excuse me, triangle letter C. And that's this guy right here. This guy here, and it looks like he's sharing the same base, but then I need a new height right here coming off that base. I need that height coming off. So that's a 9. Go back to red. Okay. So 1 half the base, which is 9. It's the same base as the other guy. And this one has a height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 also. Another height of 5. Okay, so it's the same as the other guy. Okay. And so I'm just going to go right for that 22 and one half units squared. Okay, so those guys share the same area. Now the thing I have to do is add them all up. So my total area, okay, I have a 22 and one half. I have another 22 and one half. And then the other guy was a 15. Okay, one half and one half gives me one whole. So I guess I can just cross those out, carry over that one. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, carry over, that's 4, 5, and 6. So 60 units squared for my, for, my total, uh, for my total area, which is pretty cool. Now, they did want an expression for this to, add, uh, to, uh, to show all of this. Now, what's cool about this, my expression, let me go to black for a second here. My expression is really taking this particular line, okay, because I want all my values, this particular line, Okay, and this particular line over here, and because these are all of my expressions for each individual triangle, so if I want a complete and total expression, what am I actually doing with all of these expressions? I'm actually adding them all together. So a full expression could be something like this. One half, I'm going to take the first one here, all right, times six, times five, okay. I'm going to close that off, and I'm going to add that to the next set. Okay, now here it comes. One half, same deal. Times five, close that off, add it to the final guy. Now this is a little exploded in view. Uh, I can simplify this out a little bit, but I'm just going to write it pure as is to show that, that is my full expression to arrive at the at the uh, at the total area of this particular shape. All right. Yeah, break it up into parts and uh, find each part, put them all together, and you are good to go. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.